has turn, just right. lost his seat to Colin Elred, uh, the Democrat who was challenging him there. Uh, NBC News right. now projecting that, that result. I have to ask if that's a surprise to you, Evan. It's not a surprise. Dallas County has been described to me by Republicans as an absolute disaster for Republicans. Sessions is the largest nesting doll. Inside the Sessions doll are Texas Senate and Texas House seats, and everybody is going down in Dallas County if they're a Republican tonight. Dallas wow. County has gotten progressively more blue over the last several election cycles. Sessions was the most endangered Republican. It is not a surprise that he's lost. Evan, I was talking to a kingmaker in the uh, Democratic Party today who was talking about the future of Beto, should he win the, the, the election today, and he couldn't right. run for president right away, but he, now he is available to run. Is it outside the realm of possibility that Beto O'Rourke, coming off of this near miss, will run for president? Well, he, he didn't want to talk about it until after this race. He was planning on going to the United States Senate, yeah. and he had committed to serving for six years, so he didn't entertain the conversation. You know and I know, Chris, there will be drumbeats uh, about this guy for the next two years because he energized people not just in Texas but around the country in a way that was really quite remarkable. Could he do it? Does he have the experience to do it? Does he have the national profile to do it? We really don't know. I think what he'd like to do, probably, if he does lose this race, is go back to El Paso for a while and chill out, and then we'll entertain the conversation at that point. Is it possible? Sure, it's possible. Who knows? Thanks, Evan. Evan uh, Smith with the Texas Tribune. Really appreciate you being with us tonight, which we absorb, sure. continue to absorb this big news.